guys, it's your boy Ruth from Timberland Lane Kush, and we got Yo, Big Merc. And Amanda. we're doing a January 2018 ban list prediction. Um, this ban list is solely on a poll that we've done, uh, Facebook group, from Team Top Deck, Zodiac Duelist, and the other um, Yu Gi Oh! based theme groups. And we came together and complied based on the polls. Some things that we want to elaborate on. So we're going to go through a band, a limited, semi-limited, and unlimited part portion. So um, for the band portion, a lot of players said that level eaters should get banned because the, the generate plays that's, that you can do with the card. It, Whenever Link Rainbow comes out, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. It, it's pretty redundant. Like, I've seen a firewall with double shooting Quasar Dragon. That's pretty stupid. So... Um, Damn, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> it's mostly G crazy shit. Okay. But uh, still, Love Eater promotes crazy, crazy boy, a lot of crazy advantage. Like you're playing spirals with machine duplication all over again. Yeah. So that's one of them. The next card would be Grinder Golem getting banned, which, to be honest, I don't think it'd get banned yet. Just like Goku Seder 3 for a while. I think, if anything, they put it to 2 preemptively, just like in the OCG. Same thing they did with Goku, put it to 1, just like the OCG. Well, I know they've been promoting the card a lot. It's getting reprinted. They don't want to just flat out ban it, but a lot of the community would just wants to ban. Yeah, because the card literally gives you like a win ten in a way. Like you can go double fire with a costume magician and security dragon. So that's pretty. That's pretty dumb by itself. Uh, the next card we're talking about is spiral drone. Um, stacking in the community is cheat is a form of cheating. So why would you make a card that literally stacks your opponent's deck? You can do some crazy stuff. Now, as a player that played Spirals, that card is literally, if you ban Drone and you hit another card, later on we discuss on the list, it's, it, it will literally cripple the deck's synergy and its power. So I think Drone is a problem. I mean, I agree with Drone. I think Master Plan is one of the bigger problems still because of the pluses it does get. Drone, yeah, you can see the top three cards of your opponent's deck, but Nasty Prime does a little bit more stuff. Yeah. Um, the next card we're talking about was Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. I don't know why they have this one on the list for being banned. They only want it banned because they don't want one of the cards later on. I'm just going to spoil that one. Stratos, come back to one and have a Leo at the same time. If anything, I think if Stratos does come back to one, Shadow Mist will probably go to two as well. If not, stay at three. Yeah. I don't think it will get banned. Because they still need that way to search out mass change. Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, if, if they do, like, if community wants, if they do want Stratos to come back, I would say probably one Stratos, one Shadow Miss, and probably limit E-Call or My uh, Hero Lives, because those are, like, eight starter cards. I don't even think it. they're going to do that. Especially yeah. with the new hero coming out that replaces Goblin Bird. That's true. Um... Now, that's the whole band portion that we're talking about. Now, for the limited portion, uh, one card that we're talking about was Firewall Dragon going to one. That's very understandable. A lot of people are sick of the card already, and the generic loops that it already has, people want to stop. Grand Soul got hit, so, I mean, that card is self-explanatory. I don't think I have to go much into it. Um, Spar Resort. Another card that's kind of self-explanatory, because they want the entire deck to be done. They want people to stop playing the deck. Yep. So you put resort to one and you ban drone, spirals are dead. I'm, I'm telling you the deck is dead. There's no coming back from it. Um, the next card, this was interesting, Evil Swarm Exotonite. Um, this card has been on the ban list for some 2014, 2015. And with all the degenerate boards that we have on, I mean, Topologic Bomber Dragon is like a board one to an extent, but Exiton punishes players for overexerting if they can um, kill your opponent. So bringing back a card that would actually punish you would actually put you, keep your opponent at bay, knowing that if you have a way to make a generic level four monster, it would in a sense go with Baguska uh, as a staple. But I, I could see um, Exiton pretty much being a, a power balance card. I want this shit to come back. <laughs> I love Exiton. I love Nuke and Board. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, part of Avarice, that card is a power key card, being able to shuffle back five cards and drawing two five cards. Monsters. Five monsters and drawing two cards. 
I mean, with the new wind-up card coming out um, soon, it's like we're playing Bat Magician Shark and like, fill up my graveyard and start all, all over I'm again. What I'm saying so. is, OCG has the card at two, and we don't really see many lists playing it, even at one. So I think it could come back to one. It doesn't really need to say ban. It just helps recursion. But once spirals and certain other decks get hit, then yeah, it's fine coming back. Pendant Lizards won't use it because they have no reason to. And yeah. The next card on here is Scapegoat. Scapegoat going from three to one. Um, the community has spoken. They said that the way that especially Trick Stars has manipulated and used the card, there's some other decks like you're truly over here playing, could use the deck. Basically, it's a, it, it's a field full of Link Monsters. Anything that could go into Boar Little Dragon is, it, like, Scapegoat is literally Boar Little Dragon. Or Negrisu. It's a problem solver. I think it should go to two as well, not one. But two, just because they still want to promote Links, they want easy ways to go into Links. That's why Goku's still a card. Granite Golem's not touched yet. And that's why they left Scapegoat in the first place. Alright, um, Elemental Heroes Shadows, we elaborated on that already, because then Free My Niggas Shadows stream all over the place, it would be nice to have him back. But this card, I, I really can, I really agree with Trickstar Reincarnation, even though he plays that guard, that garbage ass deck. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, Reincarnation once, Drill is retarded. Yeah, but once the new, new cards come out, the builds can change so much. You don't have to play it. Bam, Try to draw your opponent. It is so much other stuff you can do. Uh, next on the list is Max CD2. Uh, Max CD2, the community feels like they should have Max CD2 because like, OCG has three. Uh, Max CD at once pretty sacky, but Max CD2, even with all the hand traps, it feels like it, it'll be an even playing field. I don't know why. I feel like you should just either have the card at three or zero. Uh, I like the card at two and at two. That that's all. I like it at two. Um, Even when it was at three, I only played two. I love it at two. I uh, hate drawing in multiple maxis. Um, this is a total bias part of the list. Dark Arm Dragon at two. Anyone that knows Roots, they know I love Teladad. I have a Mary Thompson Teladad format. And um, this is like an OG thing. That equals game every single time. And I have yet to see someone say that theory doesn't work. Um, this was a kind of an eye popper for me. Um, some people said Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon should come back to two. Um, they feel like because Heretics get their own Link Monster next format, um, they feel like it should actually help promote in some in some way. So bringing Red Eyes Darkness Metal to two won't actually like it. It won't really do much, but it's just like just bring it back to two and see if Dragons get a push. D rulers are banned. So I mean, Red Eyes gets all the support and it's not doing anything. So I can I could play with that. Uh, Another card, I don't know why the community wants this at two. I don't understand why it would go from zero to two like this. But it's different. I think the card, if anything, would be okay. Just because it's it's just a card that you want to see, but you'll lose. You never die. <laughs> yeah, you'll never die using it, but it just makes the strikes and the warnings in your deck dead. <laughs> yeah, so I mean... I don't know. I see it coming back to one, not two. I don't see it really coming back at all, but if it did, it would come back to one. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. I don't know why you guys want it back at two. I would agree at one or just keep it as banned. Keep if anything, banned. warning can come back to two. I said OCG. Well, then they do that at your strike. Nah. Just push strike to two, just like in OCG. Two strike, two, two warning. Yeah. And so one judgment. Oh, all over again. The Solemn Brigade. Um, Book of Moon. This is for the last couple of years I've been hearing it. Book of Moon, Book of Two, Book of Moon, Book of Two. To be honest, I can see it going to three. If Spiral, if anything that says it cannot be targeted, can be played in the meta, Book of Moon deserves just to go to three. It's not doing anything right now anyways. The only, the last deck it was relevant against was Zoo. Just because Summon Rat, Book It, their play ends a little bit. Unless they have a combo center. But right now it does nothing. I have nothing to add on top of that. He hit it right in the head. Um, Torrential Tribute was the next card to round off the semi-limited list. Um, I can understand Torrential being at two because of the limit of board wipes. Um, with Regeki at one, Kaiju Slumber at one, and Darkhold at one. So board wipes is not as relevant as it should be. But um, the fear of two Torrential, 
Um, some decks can actually main that. They might not even main it, even they might even cite it. But Tarantula like, 2, you you be wary, and you'll have to. You know, I was playing Forbidden Lands. My body is a shield. No one's playing Polyamine, so this is not zoo format. So we can see this card going into, and it definitely be. It would literally be a game changer for. I, I actually like that going into. I, I could actually agree with Tarantula going into. Same here. Um, so that, that's pretty much it for semi limited cards. Um, the next card, I would love for it to go back to three. This is unlimited. I love now. this card. Oh god. I would love for it to go back oh to three. Lord, I know it's at two right now. Oh Dunder King Ryo. I would love it. A lot <laughs> of people hate the card, but I would love it. <laughs> no, come off of me. I like to be I like to be a troll sometimes and I love that card. <laughs> I don't agree with this. And I have Altis. I don't agree. <laughs> he should go back to one. This card is No. I like him at two right now. This card if this card goes to three, it would actually be retarded because we have cards that literally say search out a thunder monster. So to be able to search out a thunder king Ooh, and be able to summon hundreds. that, oh my god! <laughs> I need hundred stuff. This card that. stops pot of duality, it, and then it stops a link monster. It's li it literally anything inherit. So that thing, I mean, that, that one thing it does not stop, and I'm going to shout out Kamal Crooks here oh, or god. Kamal Brooks. Uh, <laughs> that does not stop a full pendulum summon. You try to play around that. Oh it, god. You didn't know. True. Show love bass. Um another card that caught my attention was Burial from a different dimension. Um I asked a lot of players why would they want a card like that? Because some of them were mostly rogue players that came out. I, I got the sense of because they're like, oh, we need to support Vendry and this Vendry needs support. Light Swarm and Nerva need support as well. So I don't see lights for needing support, I mean, just saying. I, I understand the bid dread because it's a new TCG archetype. It hasn't really been doing much. It's pretty much exactly how Spyro was around this time last year, or at least when it first came out. Yeah. <laughs> and with that card, it could actually help a lot. It just lets you abuse Mizukis and stuff like that. But yeah. yeah. So, um, that, just a lot around that. I can actually see that going to three and might be a game changer. It might not do much. Like the Bree Dragon being unlimited is not really doing anything. So, but this was a yeah. Um, but this was another thing that caught my attention. Mathematician at three. Uh, Mathematician at three would actually do a lot of things. It actually would. It can be a starter card if spirals. It can be a starter card in Burning Abyss. It can be a starter card for any card that literally sends a card from the deck to the graveyard and like. You understand, like, you can, if you play a plant um, synchro top of the deck with, especially Link Format, you just go summon Mathematician, send Dandelion, and God knows you go off from there. And you have one for one. God forbid, you, you can have, is, we're back to Formula Synchron, TG Hyper Librarian days all over again. So, Mathematician at three, and if, like, if the ban list tricks a lot of you go to, uh, like, a graveyard oriented Link synchro type of format. Mathematician will be a very good starter card. And the card says if it's destroyed by battle or by um, by opponent's card effect or in general, you draw a card. So it's... I think it's just destroyed by battle. Yeah. But um, I still, I still think a, a card like that would be... It would be a great impact at three. Uh, 1500 is not a lot, but the fact that summon sent to the graveyard is retarded. Because it would literally be a starter card. Oh, burial... There you go. That's all that matters. Four, co four copies. Four copies. So, um, that's the ban list, guys. Um, uh, that's pretty much everything. Uh, Coping with the with this list, we gotta make a couple of announcements as well, just for you guys to let you guys know it is the new year. We were supposed to be doing this a long time ago, but now we have the way. Uh, up on the upper left hand corner, you'll see a picture. Um, or in the middle, however, the um, call it is up video. here somewhere. Yeah, you'll see a picture of uh, one of our mats. This will be a custom mat, just like how the players have it, but it'll be um, without the sponsor player logo. A logo you've seen the mats before in our our deck profiles and stuff like that, but. This is a giveaway because we, 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 without you guys, we haven't gotten as far as as all we are. Um, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers, to 1,000 subscribers, and you guys have constantly been asking for content. We're exploring as much as we can, so we're doing um, 
the the announcer of, of the winners of the mat were gonna be I think it's February towards the end of February, uh, right after YCS Atlanta, we're gonna be announcing five lucky winners. So you know, they're gonna get a mat, and then on top of that, you get a custom um, five five lucky subscribers are gonna get five mats. The Team Relinquish custom mat without the sponsor part, sponsor player part, courtesy of uh, Team, um, Team Relinquish and Two Plus Gaming, and um, the hats. So five are gonna get a mat, and then other five are gonna get a hat. The hat is gonna be custom made, made with the Team Relinquish. It can be this color or a big color with the the black. And so and we're gonna make an announcement. Now, how do you sign up to be part of the sweepstakes? You gotta do a few um, steps. You gotta like this video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit our Facebook on um, Facebook page. The link is in the description below. So again, you gotta like this video, subscribe, comment on the video, and also hit up our Facebook page. So those, those are very simple, easy steps. And put yourself in the running. We'll make the announcement of the winners in February to after YCS Atlanta. It'll be the Monday right after. So um, this is your boy Rich from Team Liquid signing off. And Yo, see you guys. Until next time.